In this video, we'll be discussing the question, is Tanjiro born with a Demon Slayer mark? There's a bit of confusion in the answer to this question. At first, they say that it's just a scar, a mark left from childhood injury when he saved his brother from the hot boiling water. Others say that the temperature of the hot water and the pain Tanjiro felt while saving his sibling is what unlocked the Demon Slayer mark. You might be asking, was Tanjiro's dad also saving someone from the falling boiling water? Well, maybe not, but some noted that Tanjiro's dad was born with the Demon Slayer mark. And if that's the case, remember what Aminai said? said in season 4 Hashira Trainer arc when she was talking about the Demon Slayer mark she said when a Demon Slayer is near someone who unlocked the Demon Slayer mark they can all unlock the Demon Slayer mark as long as their body temperature is above 39 degrees Celsius and their heartbeat is over 200 beats per minute which could mean that Tanjiro's dad was indeed born with the Demon Slayer mark and was or with Tanjiro when the incident happened it's possible that Tanjiro did really unlock the Demon Slayer mark then if you're asking how Tanjiro's dad was born with the Demon Slayer mark and how come Tanjiro's dad didn't die before 25 because he was said that Tanjiro's dad did live to be past 25. Well, we know that Yuruji spent some time with Tanjiro's ancestor Samiyoshi and he taught him some sun breathing through Hinokamo Kagura dance. Does that mean Samiyoshi unlocked the Demon Slayer mark sometime after that? Because the flashbacks don't show that. It's possible maybe someone down the line. Let's say this, if Tanjiro's dad was born with the Demon Slayer mark, it would make sense why he lived past 25 considering the only other person to live past 25 with the mark was Yuriji, who was also born with the Demon Slayer mark. If it was the boiling water, then how did the Demon Slayer mark appear after on the exact same spot? As far as I know, Tanjiro unlocked his Demon Slayer mark during that fight with Gyotaro where he beheaded him. Because if Tanjiro had unlocked the Demon Slayer mark when he was a kid after the boiling water incident, then why didn't Rengoku manifest his Demon Slayer mark? He was right there with Tanjiro and he was saving him. My conclusion is that perhaps the scar was a sign that the person with it can unlock the demon mark. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.